Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on driving a stepper motor from the Raspberry Pi. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to look at using this easy driver circuit to step the stepper motor I was just showing you guys. Um, so let's start by taking a look at what we've got here. So we've got this motor A and B loop on our driver board. Um, if you google the serial number of the stepper motor here, you'll see there's four different color wires coming out the back of it and we'll see that red and green creates one loop and yellow and blue creates the other loop um, and those will drive it in one direction or the other respectively. So we're going to wire those uh, two loops into our A and B loop here, red and green and then blue and yellow. Um, and then over here we've got a power in circuit with ground and M plus. So we're going to use the 5 volt output on the GPIO pins to go to M plus and the ground on our GPIO to go to ground and that's going to power our circuit and then provide power for our stepper motor. So we could use an external supply that throws a lot more volts at it uh, to move our motor faster, but for this demo we're just going to power it right off the Pi. Then the only other thing that we need to look at is this ground, step, and direction pins down here. So we're going to pair our ground pin to the ground over here so that they're both just grounded to the Pi. Our step and direction pin will plug into GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi and then we'll use those to define if we want to go clockwise or counterclockwise and then we'll actually hit this with a wave to actually step the motor. Okay so now let's take a look at interfacing with the stepper motor from the Pi. Okay so from the previous videos you'll remember that we have to use sudo to interface with anything on the GPIO pins and root uses a different version of Python than we've been using as our Pi user. So if we do sudo python and we import our pi.gpio as gpio and then we say say p equals gpio.pwm and we'll say pin 16 and I'll explain what all this is in a minute here. But you'll see that our gpio library doesn't have an attribute called pwm. So what we need to do, sudo pip install minus minus upgrade, and we need to do rpi.gpio to upgrade our rpi.gpio library to have the PWM module. Okay, so now we've got rpi.gpio upgraded to uh, include pulse width modulation. So now in our home directory, let's make a file called motorcontrol.py. Okay, so later on we're going to want to be able to call this from Django, so we'll do this user bin env python so that this can be executable on its own. Um, and then we'll import the rpi.gpio library um, as gpio and we'll also grab time. Okay, so now we have to set up all of our mode for our gpio pins. So we'll do gpio.setmode, gpio.board. And then we'll do gpio.setup. So we have pin 16 and 18. 16 is going to step, 18 is going to direction. So we need to set up 16 and 18 to be outputs. And we'll do pin 18, gpio.out. Okay, so now we need to create a pulse width modulation object um, so that we can send pulses down pin 16. So if you look on the Easy Driver page right here he says he takes a square wave with a frequency of 500 Hertz and puts it to the step pin. So that's what we're going to do to drive our motor. So we're going to say P equals GPIO dot PWM. We're going to put it on 16 and we're going to send it 500 Hertz. Okay so now we need a function we'll called def spin motor and it's going to take a direction and a number of steps Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set the direction. So we'll do gpio.output pin 18, and we'll send it the direction variable that we take in. So we can set this when we call this function to true or false, and that will uh, automatically set pin 18 to high or low, which will give us clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, so now let's do a while loop, while number of steps is greater than zero. Um, and we'll start our PWM object. So this will start pulsing that step pin 
with a 500 hertz pulse. Um, and then we'll do a sleep here, 0 0.01, put a little delay in, and we'll decrement our number of steps. Okay, so once that's all run through, um, we'll get to a point where we have to stop sending the pulse so that the motor will stop spinning. So that'll turn a number of steps in whichever direction we choose. Um, <clears throat> then whenever you're using the GPIO pins, when you're done, you have to do GPIO.cleanup, and we'll just return true. So now we have a function that will spin our motor in any direction. Um, so now we'll just make this so we can execute it from the command line. Uh, so we'll do direction input equals raw input. We'll say please enter O or C for open or close. And we'll do num steps equals input please enter the number of steps and so we'll say if direction input is equal to C then we'll say spin motor false and pass it the number of steps that we read in we'll say else Spin motor true num steps. So this will test our direction input for O or C. If it's C, we'll set direction to false, which will set 18 to 0. Uh, if it's true, we'll set 18 to true. Alright, so now let's uh, run the script and watch the motor spin. Okay, so now let's test running this script. Uh, if we do sudo python dot slash motor control dot py, run that. So we'll go open, and I think a complete loop is going to be about 350. So let's run that, and there you see it spinning. All right. So now let's do the same thing again, but let's try it with close 350, and you can see it spin the other direction. So now we can spin. A stepper motor in either direction from the Raspberry Pi. Uh, stay tuned, a little later we'll look at hooking this up to blinds to be able to open and close your blinds from a Pi, and we'll be build an automatic fish feeder out of it as well. Thanks for watching.